Five Ingredient Friday. It's Carrie's Culinary Crafts where we talk all things food and today is five ingredient Friday and I'm gonna bring you along with me because it is one heck of a day um, my son had school went straight from school to track then went straight from track to a baseball game so now it is late everybody is hungry and I need to get something really really quick so 15 minute meal here. This is why it is a bonus to at sometimes whenever you can to make a little bit more and you have things in the freezer. Um, you guys know that I always do stuff for like Taco Tuesday and I will always make like a bunch of taco meat and mix the beans in, put the, the taco seasoning and all that kind of stuff. The last time that I made like uh, tostadas, I made a whole bunch of it and then I stuck the rest in the freezer. This is what I use those types of things for. I have the leftover meat and bean mixture with the taco seasoning and everything already in here. So I took it out this morning, had it thawed, and we're gonna throw this together really quick because we're all starving and it's late. So I have the meat and bean mixture here. I have whatever type of cheese, I think I mentioned this before, I do love to use two different kinds of cheese on my nachos or any kinds of cheese, but I like to use a, a liquid cheese and then also your standard cheddar cheese. So I have those cheese and I have some nacho chips here. So I, mean, I am gonna go ahead and quickly put this together. Nacho chips. And there is the taco meat and the beans. And then we'll go ahead and put this liquid cheese on first. Now this is a nacho cheese. A nacho cheese sauce, medium. You can also get this hot. I do like it hot, but when my son is eating them, it's a little bit too hot for him with all the jalapenos in it. So we go ahead and get the medium. And this you can get at the Dollar Tree. I think you can get it at Walmart too. I usually just pick up a case whenever I go to the Dollar Tree. So and that's just a, a liquid cheese. I just like the consistency of nachos having the liquid cheese and then also having the regular cheese that is melted on top. Okay guys, and that is it. What did it take me, two to three minutes to put that together? Now the toppings, like you can put whatever you want on it, whatever you have, whatever you want, or you can just eat them plain like this. My son loves to eat them plain like this. I personally like to put, you know, stuff on it. Like I would put tacos, I'd put some lettuce and some tomatoes and, um, you know, sour cream or something on it. Uh, my son eats it like this. My husband, sometimes he does both. He'll eat it plain or he will add some stuff to it. Tonight, I think we're all, all of us are gonna have it plain because we're all just starving. So we're gonna stick it in a 400 degree oven. And basically it is just in there just to melt all that cheese, warm everything up and melt the cheese 10 to 12 minutes. And there we go. We are going to have dinner made, prepped on the table in less than 15 minutes. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this and this was another extreme five ingredient Friday.